Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to Season 3, Episode 3 of the Bordeaux Crew Mode here on the channel. Uh, big, big episode planned. Uh, as you can see, a couple of bigger deals going on around the league. We had the uh, Europa Conference League draw, and um, a little while ago, yep, last episode, we had a big game against BSG. Albert Ellis scores the late equalizer in a 2-2 draw. Let's check out the uh, Conference League draw. Um, not sure if there are any other bigger teams in it, um, besides us, it's Arsenal there, our group, Istanbul, Bashishka here, Whew, I probably butchered that, Bohemian FC, I believe they're a team from, uh, Ireland, so, um, starting center back, we had three options here, you guys voted in the Discord, um, on one of them, and that was Jean-Claire Toribo, so, um, these two guys, we will, uh, will let go, but, um, Todibo, 31 million to get his, uh, signature, assuming we agree to personal terms, but he's fast, he's strong, that's what exactly what we're looking for, so, um, he's gonna try to get this deal over the line, important squad role, perfect, so he, uh, doesn't want to be a full starter all the time, love that, give Phil Jones some play time. I'm being serious, not really. Um, no release clause, five year deal, perfect. Um, we'll take off the. Uh, oh, excuse me. I'm still a little sick, but uh, gotta get the recording out. 300 grand sign on bonus, 20k wage, 23 of a deal. Jean Claire Tudibo, welcome to Bordeaux. So we're going to go to this game against FC Nantes, it is the Atlantic Rivalry, I think it's called like the Derby de Atlantique or something, but uh, it is a real rivalry, so should be a good one. We'll probably sub out Aspilicueta midway through, because he's not full stamina, but he is the captain, so we'll play the first half, Santi Campos will go in for Josh Maja, and uh, we'll get this game underway. I really wish they changed these cutscenes a little bit. They're they're fun, but it's always the same thing. Like, I can tell you exactly what's going to happen. They're passing on the ground here. And then he's going to fake to pass to the left. He's going to go to the right. Whoa. Look at that. So if EX just do those subtle changes, I think it really make a big, big improvement to the game. But look at that stadium. It's a beauty. The Matmut Atlantique. Nonsense Bordeaux. Match day four. Here we go. Cadiz starts up top in the 4-2-3-1. Ludovic Blas leads it with Alvaro, the center back at right wing. Interesting. Samuel, last name, not even going to try it. And Giroto take up the uh, defensive midfield. Jesus Ferreira plays center back, so I guess he's supposed to be switched with Alvaro. La Fonte and goal. Interesting, interesting. But uh, fifth minute here, we jump in. Great challenge by Lakumi. He keeps it, he stays calm on the ball, and we get it out wide to Kakashi to start first attack of the game here. As always, lots of space with Pembele. Look at that. We got two players running into the box. One of them is Campos. Whisker wide from his first goal. Whisker wide. Should have done better there, for sure, but it's just, just pinged off his shin there instead of his foot. It's going wide. It's unfortunate, but uh, the chances will come. Montiero. Takes one down the line, skips past Kakashi, and I will stop it one more. Sends that one into the box, takes a deflection off him. It's a big save, another big save again by Lecomte. The first real uh, test of the game for our French shot stopper here. They send this one into the middle. Cadiz gets his head on it. It's a good save, and now we'll just try and slow this one back down. Don't need to worry here. Lafont will take this goal kick in the 35th minute here. They'll go out wide to Lazo. Herrera wins it but loses it carelessly. Unfortunate error. Now Samuel gets this one forward. They'll give it out wide to Lazo. Back inside. Good interception by Toribo. The center back playing big plays up high up the pitch. And now Albert Ellis is in. We'll drive this one into the middle. Santi Campos won't miss that one. We open the scoring in the Atlantic Derby. 1-0. The Spaniard. Gets himself on the score sheet for the first time this season. Hellas Ruskin takes one wide. The pass is a little behind him, but Santi Campos still makes it work. Great play from him. 
Blas carries this ball up forward now. 40th minute here. They give it to Cadiz. Still somehow getting through. Cadiz with the ball again here. Big save from Lacombs. A double save from Lacombs. The defense is still shaky, but, uh, yeah. Whew. Definitely some worrisome signs there. Now, the Italian who gives one inside to Blas again. Another big save by Lacombe, his fifth of the day. Big, big showing from the French keeper in the first half as we head to the second half. A 1-0 lead. It's deserved. I think we've, we've had more of the ball, but um, they're testing us. They're testing us in front of goal, but I'm comfortable. I think we can, uh, we can hold out this game. Bambele intercepts well. We'll give it up to Albert Ellis, trying to drive forward down the left-hand side. Intercepted well again by Rachic, though, as we win the ball again. And now Kakasha, you can look, Albert Ellis, he's got lots of space in the far post there. We lift it to him, never in doubt. The definition of clinical, the Honduran. Two seasons in a row, he's been our highest goal scorer. He is this season as well. Rises perfectly, connects perfectly. We double the lead here at home. 58th minute, lovely bit of play here, but uh, block shot now. Asby can start an attack of his own. Rochester, that's a beautiful, beautifully timed ball by Campos. Going up against the striker out of position, cuts inside, looking for the top corner. Big save there. Al Albert Ellis, he's been tripped. He trips right over um, Lafont's legs. That should have been a penalty, though, because he would have would have got the rebound there. Unfortunate, but we head to the 68th minute. A couple of changes, as you can see there. Hatsabora comes on for Pembele. We'll give it to Albert, uh, not Albert Ellis, you've seen Adley. <laughs> but it's a comfortable save by Alban Lafont. In the uh, 70th minute here, you always round up a number. So uh, you thought you'd catch me saying that. Not happening. 70th minute, lovely bit of link up play here from these three. They give to Cadiz again. Big save. That comp has been one of the signings of the season, one of the most underrated players we've seen. Tahu driving the defense, he wins. A good, uh, good spot here for a shot, maybe uh, 30 yards out, I'd say, 32 yards out. We'll look just to clip this one in. Look for Rochic there. It falls to Ellis. Ooh. Now we're just having fun. Albert Ellis in touch with his chest. Went for the bicycle. Puskas award winner right there if it goes in. We'll give it to Campos. Sitting on the volley. Takes a deflection. We're just having fun now. Just having fun. A comfortable two-goal advantage here. Maybe one more chance for Nantes to get something out of this game. They give it inside to Martinez. Turns well. Game on. 83rd minute here. <coughs> Martinez. I was just thinking he was going to turn inside. Instead, he keeps going on the tough angle. I'm fine with conceding a goal like that. 2-1 the game does end, though. Another... Good win, and yeah, the team team looks solid. Um, we'll go in here, uh, offer for Cruz from Newcastle. He is now uh, surplus to requirements after we signed um, Toribo, the former Barcelona man. So if we can get maybe a little more than $8 million for uh, Guilherme, what is his name? Guilherme Cruz, I'll take it, 8.3. Steve Bruce says, you have a deal, sir. Thank you, sir. So, big window for Monaco here as we go through. Chao Enrique out, but De La Cruz, Ishmael Assar, and Ruben Vezo maybe. Uh, Tony Cruz and um, Luis Muriel, both moving clubs there. That's crazy. Uh, Huang Ijo signs for Angers. He was a former player of ours that we sold in Season 1. There's all of our deals. Deals. We signed a couple more free agents and pre-contract players and stuff. For Clermont, Ben Berton Diaz, and Sam Byram. So... Two players from the championship. For Dijon, they've signed Robbie Matondo, I believe that is, the uh, Welsh. One of the kids, I don't know any of these guys, signing for Troyes. Lorient have had a big window. Alvaro, Matthew Hop, and maybe Jesus Medina, that could be, signing for them. Good window as well, a couple of 20 million out. Uh, Rongier from Marseille joins Metz. Interesting. There you can see all the deals for... Um, Ooh, Nantes have just sold Ludovic Blas, Salaba in, Braderich, Diallo, and David out for Lille. So, a lot of players leaving the club. Um, Thielman, the uh, 
Cohn, Wonder Kid joins, Jonathan David joins Nice from Leo Lynchning, Delort out as well, big winner for Leon, wow, I can't even read all those names, Bastoni and Maxim Arnold joining, another big winner, whew, alright, Denier as well, I, I can't even keep up with this, I'm just going to let you look at this, because that's crazy, 175 mil spent by PSG, it's going to be a rough, it's going to be a rough time this year, I tell you, a lot of star signings, but also a lot of players, um, moving clubs in the league, Delort, he left, uh, Nice, I think it was, first time Brene in there, um, Barisha, I think that's the German, Morgan Sanson returns, a lot of crazy deals, wow, a lot of crazy deals in the, uh, in the window, but I'm happy. I like to see other teams making as many moves as we do. Keeps the city of exciting for you guys. Keeps it exciting for me as well. Um, yeah, I think we'll we'll keep it as is here. Hatsabor will go in for Pembele just because he's higher overall in the quick sim games. The game hopefully should be a win. Ooh, just barely a win. Albert Ellis and double for Rochich. We're actually losing 2-1 at one point in this game. But we come from behind. We move on to the next game here. Istanbul Bashishka here. Um, that's that's what I'm going to pronounce it. It could be terribly wrong, but um, that's what I'm going to go with. So, it is what it is. But that is our first game in the uh, Conference League. I, I did forget to start our backup goalkeeper, Leka. So, you're going to see that as I make all the changes here. I apologize for not doing that, but, um, mistake on my part there. We'll put on, um, Baptiste Lenartz. He is the, uh, Youth Academy player with a team player trait, so love that whenever you get a Youth Academy player. I'd say team player and one club player are the best two, in my opinion. We'll put Galerkin on the bench here. Uh, he, he, he requested to play. He sent a very nice email to me. He's like, hey, boss. I'd love to get a chance out there, so we're going to sub him on, you know, if you're polite to me, go ahead, get yourself a couple of minutes off the bench. Brian Acosta, the hero against Dortmund last year, if you know, you know, if you don't, go watch last season's episode against Dortmund, it was crazy, but um, nothing happened in the first half, and actually we're a pretty dull game in general, but we're losing the possession significantly, so a bit worrying, but it's a rotated side, so I wouldn't expect too much, but Josh Maja, he'll have to carry us hard today. So Kakashi will take this throw in, in the 50th minute. Kakashi with the overlapping run, now we've got someone in the middle, it's Baptiste Lenart's one-time volley, the Belgian, on his first professional start, his second ever professional debut, scores a wonderful volley to give us the lead at home here. Look at that, one-time volley on the left foot, across the keeper, that is something special. He's going to be a fan favorite in a couple of years, I tell you. I tell you what. Gives one inside to Kakashi now. We're going to turn onto the right foot. Oh! Rattles the crossbar. One more chance for Traore. Big save again. We're knocking on the door here for the second goal. It's going to come. It's going to come eventually. Dahoud now. We'll have a go from distance. Pinballs to Maja. Big save again by Istanbul. Basiska here is goalkeeper. 85th minute though, uh... Zoom through this game quickly. It was a lot of good shots, but nothing much in between. Tahoud wins that ball nicely. And he can just drive up the right-hand side. Waste a little bit of time. It is what it is. We'll give us one inside to Lenartz now. We'll stop. We've got a run being made by Maja. It's a beautiful pass. And now Josh Maja, the Nigerian. Clinical as ever. A dagger to the hearts of the Istanbul fans. Look at that. It's a beautiful pass, though. Almost no... Uh, Momentum on the pass, or sorry, almost no wind-up to get the momentum, but it's a great, great pass, and Maja, ice in the veins, cold, 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 lovely finish, it's a good win in front of the home fans, I don't know why the seats are pink, I didn't do that, but, uh, thank you for watching, we're gonna end it here, uh, good episode, hopefully, hope you liked it, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe, share the video with all your friends, join the Discord, links in the description, but, uh, yeah, three games, three wins, one new signing for 30 mil. I call it a, call it a good episode. Successful episode. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time. Episode 4.